Hey, this is Bob Bowles. What? This is Timber. Bob Bowles. Listen, what? This is a nap. This what this is Bob DC for foot for mill dog. This is good deal. My question is what is DC Marvel? DC Hobbit. That is season nine. My question is, why is four ball by C C Sala is six? That is season nine. Beastie Boss beats beats Spider Man. My question is, so what? This is totally by a terrible totally for four million dollars. One. My first is Dow Dot Beats at the Fellow Hall. And my first is Why DC wants to buy DC Bob for fourteen for four million dollars. My first is Spider-Man is owned by the movie was is on my story. Pistols. DC one is from Spider-Man movie was. My first is Spider-Man movie was is on my story. Most of Pistols. My first is is what DC doing. Is Superman the build in what they say? My question is, what's this? the money you could be saving with Geico. You were made for each other. You like money, he likes money. My question is, what you the boss do do with what this is in well? What's this? Economy news, it may be the superhero deal of the decade, and the winner appears to be Disney. The company is spending $4 billion to buy Marvel, getting control of Spider-Man, Iron Man, and the X-Men, among other big-ticket characters in the movies, and branding that goes with them. West News' Greg Fox is here now to give us a look at what could be the deeper meaning to this deal. Greg? Yeah, and the deeper significance is that Marvel will not end up in the hands of Universal Studios. Remember, the Marvel characters are key to the Islands of Adventure theme park, also key to movies movie deals, now Universal will be writing a check to Disney for the rights to keep using those characters. Since Universal's Islands of Adventure opened in 1999, the part of the theme park with the most punch has been... Well, we just heard moments ago that Disney is acquiring... Economy news, it may be the superhero deal of the decade. Right across town. Spider-Man defeat the forces of evil. All of these Marvel characters will soon be Disney property in a scenario that now has the mouse. 
being paid a big hunk of cheese from its biggest rival to use its characters. Disney would definitely be the last choice that you would want as a purchaser if you're a Universal. I mean, that's the last thing you want to see is sending a check right across town. Now they don't have far to drive to get it there, do they? A absolutely not. Why is this a blue boat? We clearly have an opportunity to integrate. Did the deal affect the overall outlook for Disney, the company? David Joyce, media industry analyst for Miller Tabak, joins us now from Midtown Manhattan. Earlier this month, David downgraded his Disney rating from a buy to a neutral. Uh, does this news today, David, change your outlook on the company? Do you still stand by that downgrade? Well, the downgrade for Disney came in uh, line with some other uh, uh, media conglomerate uh, downgrades. Uh, we just felt that uh, the stocks really had a good run since uh, the, the bottoms in early March, and uh, I think we just wanted to wait a little while for the fundamental after they acquired that company. I expect them to do that pretty quickly uh, in Marvel as well. While they are issuing stock to Marvel holders, uh, in, in addition to uh, $30 a share in cash, um, they, they could buy that stock back you know, within a quarter or so, but I would, wait, I would think they've been doing Marvel. What demographic does Disney gain by purchasing a Marvel Entertainment? I mean, they... Uh, a comic book yeah, publisher which skews toward young males and, and boys uh, they've had tremendous broad appeal uh, from their Spider-Man and Iron Man and X-Men movies uh, that they could continue to um, uh, to develop and broaden uh, through the through the deeper set of characters that are there so the, the core audience that they're going after would be the younger males because in the past several years or call the past decade Disney's really started to skew towards attracting more uh, younger females with mm -hmm. the Hannah Montana and high school musical franchises and the uh, princess and fairy lines. Uh, I, th I think that uh, with uh, Disney having converted its Toon Disney cable network to Disney XD to go after the younger boys, I think that this uh, Marvel acquisition also reflects uh, that uh, that strategy and trying to get a better balance. Oh, well, a big part of expanding those princess and those fairy Disney lines Man. was to, uh, using it as a way to tap into the emerging markets. Now the Disney characters, aren't you just blonde-haired, blue-eyed Cinderella's? They're more reflective of the markets that they're trying to to uh, international markets and to... You know, that's a Baltic? What's happening at ABC on... Why TC on ABC on what's on ABC TC on ABC Network? Big news from the Walt Disney Corporation, which happens to be our employer. Disney has announced plans to buy Marvel Comics for um, four billion dollars and one of the Jonas Brothers. They traded it's quite a deal. I'm not sure, but I think Disney now owns every animated character except for the Toe Fungus Monsters. And the sale of Marvel Comics is especially big news for our Hollywood Boulevard superheroes. Comics is especially big news. And the sale of Marvel Comics is especially big news for our Hollywood Boulevard superheroes, uh, who are the men and women who brave the heat outside of our theater for... What DVD would say? Mm. Well, you, you, DVD would say, Marvel no. bought DC out. That's the end of the story. That's the end of part one. I mean, it's the end of the story.